Joe here with the Rideshare Guy and today we're going to discuss five must-know features of the Lyft Driver app. Really quickly, if you have yet to download the Solo app to help you manage your rideshare business and earn more, our referral link will be in the description. All right, feature number one. So you're driving your passenger to their destination, you're engaging with them, and you keep getting bombarded with back-to-back -back requests, which are requests that you receive when you're in your current ride. There's a way to stop these requests from coming in. All right, so to stop those back-to-back -back requests, you just slide up the bottom bar, and in the middle of the page there, you can see that ride requests are on. And if you tap that, it will turn those back-to-back -back requests off so you won't receive those. And if you do want to turn them back on, you can just tap it again. You do have to do it on a per ride basis. I wish there was a way to turn these off altogether so you never receive them. And I've also found that with these back-to-back -back requests, if I'm going to a dense area like a downtown area, oftentimes when I forget to turn off those back-to-back -back requests, when I'm receiving them, I'm not seeing any per ride bonuses. And then if I decline all those back-to-back -back requests and then I'm available after I drop off my current passenger, I see that there are per ride bonuses available. So oftentimes it seems like they're not including those per ride bonuses on those back-to-back -back requests. In features number two and three in these kind of go in tandem. After you've accepted a request on Lyft, you can still see the upfront info for that ride. On Uber, this information disappears after you've accepted a request, but on Lyft, you can still see how much you're going to get paid and you can also see the destination address. Also, if you want to see how much you've earned for the day or how many rides you've given after you've accepted a request or when you're en route to a passenger, that information is still available as well. All right, so you've accepted your request, you're navigating towards your passenger, but you still want to see those upfront details. You want to see how much you're going to get paid and also where the destination address of your passenger is. If you slide up the bottom bar, you can still see the upfront fare right there at the top. Of course, you can see the pickup address and you can also see the destination address. And also here you can see your earnings for the day and how many rides you've given as well. I love that Lyft always has this upfront information available and I wish Uber would do the same. Feature number four are location filters and ride preferences. Everyone should know about the location filters, you should know about the destination filter, but Lyft also has a very important filter called the stay within area filter. With the stay within area filter, if say a downtown area is really busy and you want to get a lot of per ride bonuses, you can stay within a five mile radius of that area by setting the stay within area filter. Also in terms of ride preferences, Lyft still has a ride switch feature where it will switch you to a completely random ride, one that you haven't even looked at the upfront details to. I have no idea why Lyft still allows these ride switches to occur, but there's a way that you can turn them off completely. And on those back-to-back -back queued rides, you have the option to automatically accept those or manually accept them. All right, so you select that preferences toggle on the bottom right there. And here are your location filters and your ride preferences. There's the destination filter at the top. There's also the stay within area filter there. And with the stay within area filter, you can set your radius to the minimum of five miles. And every request that you receive, both the pickup and drop off location will be within that radius. There's also ride preferences here with those queued back to back requests. You can turn those to auto accept or manual accept. I personally never want to auto accept the request, so I have these turned to manual accept. But again, I like to stop these back to back requests on almost every single ride. If I do happen to forget sometimes, these requests will just expire after 15 seconds if it's set to manual. Also, there's that ride switches feature, which again is where you are switched automatically to a different request after you've already accepted your current request. And I, of course, have these off. Every driver should turn these off. And also there's pet rides and you can turn these off, but you can receive a $4 bonus on all of these pet rides. So I've kept this on. I haven't encountered a pet ride yet, but I do feel a $4 bonus on these rides is worth it. Again, Lyft should get rid of these ride switches altogether, but at least now they're giving us the option with those. Over a year ago, believe it or not, these ride switches were just automatically happening. You didn't have any choice at all. And feature number five, and this comes with a disclaimer. After you've picked up your passenger, you wanna confirm who they are, and you also wanna confirm their destination address. Now say they entered the wrong destination address, like their home address or their work address, and they're trying to go somewhere else. They can switch the destination address themselves, but if they can't figure it out, they might be an elderly person or say they're just having a difficult time with the app, there's a way for drivers to change the destination address. All right, so to change the destination address, you just slide up the bottom bar again. You'll see that more option underneath the destination address. You'll select edit destination and this is where you can change that address. Again, if you ever need to change the destination address, you first want to confirm that it is your actual passenger. 
All right, so those are my five features. Did you all know about these? Were there any that I didn't include that I should have included? Leave a comment below and let us know any of those. If you've yet to download the Solo app to help you manage your rideshare business and earn more, our referral link is in the description. We also have a free newsletter and the link to sign up for that is in the description as well. And if you've yet to watch my previous video on five must-know Uber driver app features, be sure to check that one out. Thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.